Hello, savage gentlemen. So I just recorded this entire video and then um, I realized that I didn't push the record button. So another map moment in the world of Savage and Six. I want to talk to you guys today about a few different things, actually quite a few different things. Um, some of it you guys have heard before, some of, some of it you probably haven't. Um, I just finished my workout, came back. I split up my workout today. I split up my cardio from my weights. I did my weights this morning um, and I did them fasted. We'll talk about difference between fast workouts and regular workouts and and what kind of purpose that serves but um i split it up my cardio of choice i'm always encouraging you guys to do something for cardio that you love right um you can jog on a treadmill for 20 minutes you know and, and then row for 10 minutes and, and do what the cardio says or you can find something that you really really love of an equivalent calorie burn or more for me um my love is definitely uh kickboxing and jujitsu um and I think that started from an insecurity when I was younger, um, and then it's just grown into something that I just truly love to do. Uh, for today, I just I did minutes on the bag. I did 40 minutes of rounds for two minutes on and one minute off, just a little rest. Um, more like a HIIT workout, which is a high intensity interval training workout. So for that two minutes, I'm go, 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 everything I have, and that one minute I'm resting. Uh, and the jujitsu I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. James actually, who was up here, who was the winner of the Savage and Six, um, Christmas edition. Um, and yeah, it was the winner of the Savage and Six uh, Christmas edition came up and, and I brought him to one of the, the jujitsu classes and it was awesome because it was like a new class with a bunch of beginners but um, I love jujitsu and I like martial arts because I think it's important to be able to protect yourself and to have the confidence to know that you can protect yourself so that you never have to because I, I think that when you're really confident with yourself, um, something that I've learned and you know, you feel good about yourself, you, you make better decisions. You just have less of a chip on your shoulder and you have less to prove. And that's not something that's come to me easily. I, I think that's something that I'm kind of developing as I get older, right? Um, I wouldn't say I'm a pacifist, but I'd say I, I, attend, I avoid violence at all costs and I'm not the kind of guy to go and, and pick a fight with a stranger. That's just not me. But I also do think that we live in uh, particularly a brutal world despite the fact that we you know we think that we're evolved and maybe hopefully we are evolved but unfortunately not everybody is so martial arts are my thing that's what i do for cardio i can burn up to 2,000 calories in a single session of rolling with the guys really good group of guys it's very positive it's not machismo and that's what i like to do but tonight was kickboxing killed that came home uh, we had the dinner that i just posted in the group with the shirataki noodles i also wanted to mention to you guys based on that shirataki noodles are absolutely amazing um, when you get them in the package, they smell like crap. They're typically in the produce aisle, um, and they're typically refrigerated. And you take these things, and you open them up, and it just smells like death. But you take them, and you rinse them out, and uh, then you strain them, and you dry fry them for about 5 to 10 minutes to take out the moisture. And they taste exactly like spaghetti. But the beautiful thing about it is all the carbohydrates in there are completely insoluble carbs. So it's got a couple of benefits. It, number one, makes you poop which is important, right? Digestion and of course uh, getting some fiber to your diet. Number two, it really fills you up and it doesn't add any extra calories to your meals. So it's a really, really good way just to make a quick stir fry um, or spice something up when you don't have any macros left and, and you just want to get a little bit full. Like I said, the smell is horrendous. You'll get over that, I promise. Um, but if you get a chance, check them out. Shira Taki Noodles. And of course, as always, hydrating. It was just a pool of sweat when I came back. Okay, so um, a bunch of stuff I want to talk to you guys about tonight. Just a few things I'm going to touch on really quickly. I had somebody ask me to do a video on uh, macronutrients. So we're going to be talking a lot about macronutrients. I know some of you guys have probably heard the, you know, the term macro, and some of you guys might not even know what that means. So I, I pulled the definition of what a macronutrient is. And a macronutrient, according to the dictionary, is a substance required in relatively large amounts by living organisms, in particular a type of food. Example, fat, protein, carbohydrate required in large amounts in the human diet. So those are your three macronutrients. You've got fats, you've got your protein, and you've got your carbs. And as I kind of mentioned before, so, you know, science has gone through all these weird phases where, you know, um, carbs, carbs are the enemy. Um, and then what they found out is that complex carbohydrates are actually uh, quite good for your body and then and then it was fat that was the enemy and then what we're finding out is that um, a diet high in fat isn't necessarily bad for you unless you're predisposed to um, heart issues and stuff like that as well uh, 
However, whenever I'm, I'm working with guys, um, my first approach typically, because it's the one that works the best, is a higher diet, diet in complex carbohydrates and a lower diet in fat. Um, if we don't get the type of results, then we do some playing around with the macros. But that's a beautiful thing about being involved in one of these challenges is you really get to see how your body reacts to these things. Uh, the other term is micronutrients. Micronutrients, according to the dictionary, is a chemical element or substance required in trace amounts for the normal growth and development of living organisms. So that's essentially trace amounts and trace minerals that you require in your diet for normal growth. And we're going to do a lot more talking on what macronutrients are, and I think I'm going to start covering a micronutrient every day as well because there's a ton of them, and they serve a really, really important purpose. And uh, we'll get into why I recommend that you guys take vitamins. Do vitamins really work? There's all sorts of things we're going to touch in in this challenge, but um, I promise we will have more on macronutrients. We will have more on micronutrients. The important thing for you to understand right now is a complex versus a simple carbohydrate, right? Simple carbohydrate readily converts to glucose, spikes your insulin, turns your body into a storing mode. A complex carbohydrate breaks down a lot more slowly. The energy is used slowly. It's digested slowly and it doesn't spike your insulin at the same level, and you're able to process and use those foods a lot better for energy. So um, a few different things I wanted to just touch on again, guys, absolutely key. The number one thing of getting you guys through this challenge is longevity, right? We want you to finish this challenge, and I don't just want to tell you to go out there and throw around throw around weights and then, and then you know pull your shoulder or whatever else. When you guys are doing your reps, you guys are doing your workout, time under tension is key. What do I mean by time under tension? It trumps weight every single time for a nice aesthetic physique, right? Um, time under tension just refers to those nice long reps, slow, controlled, at a good weight. I, I always encourage you guys to really start low. Take whatever thing, whatever you think you should be starting at, drop it by half, and focus on every single movement and every single squeeze. Um, when you really get that movement, you get that muscle activation, your brain starts to develop a pattern of recognition and those little tweaks that you have to do to really work that muscle, then you slowly start increasing the weight. Time under tension, nice, slow, controlled weights, controlled reps with controlled weight is going to get you better results than throwing around heavy weight and you're going to be less prone to injury. So I really encourage you guys to slow down your workouts, take your time, nice, slow, controlled reps. I um, also wanted to touch on something I just posted there. We are giving away all the programs on the site. A lot of those programs are older programs, but honestly, guys, they're, they're, um, they're good programs to have in your back pocket. So uh, don't, don't feel bad about downloading them. Take them. There was um, a couple other trainers that we found out that were giving away our programs anyway, and we thought, hey, why don't we turn lemons into lemonade? We're going to give them away to everybody for free, if that's the case, because we don't want somebody paying for something off of somebody that they didn't create. So it's not a negative thing. It, it ended up turning, we turned it into a positive. The fact that people would even uh, choose us to steal our programs from in, a, in the long range of things is, is kind of, it's kind of, it's flattering because there's a lot of trainers out there doing their thing and, and people cho choose to s steal and resell ours. So that's cool. Um, make sure you take advantage of that guys and um, download those programs and enjoy them. Just tuck them in your hard drive for after the challenge or for whatever else. Tell your friends how awesome they are. Yeah, and don't forget to tell your friends how awesome they are because, of course, their business runs on referrals. Anyway, a um, little shameless self-promotion there. Um, I Actually, I want to level with you guys. I missed my workout when James and Lisa were here and Paul. Uh, James and Paul are also doing this challenge, so hey, guys. Um, when they were here, uh, they came a couple of days into the start of the Savage and Six, and every once in a while, I'm all about balance. I take a diet break. I kick back. I relax. I eat some good food, um, and I I just enjoy life a little bit because it's all about sustainability. And I also know that I have the tools to be able to pull my physique back in a hurry um, whenever I get out of bounds. That's not an excuse to get out of bounds all the time, but it's just an excuse to try to find some balance in your life and enjoy a little bit. And that's kind of a segue into the next thing that I want to talk about. Um, typically speaking, on Sunday, I recommend doing it. However, if you do it another day, that's fine. I just recommend that you do a check-in before you have your cheat meal. So because it's all about balance and because I don't want you guys sitting there um, doing six weeks of just intense dieting and you walk out of this thing with just your head spinning and you're like, oh, I'm never doing that again. Um, 
you really got to learn to uh, just enjoy. So once a week, guys, I want you to replace your dinner. I want you to eat as regularly scheduled. And I want you to take your dinner and I want you to replace it with a cheat meal of your choice. Now, what is a cheat meal of your choice? Is it three pizzas? You're probably pushing it, right? Uh, but is it, you know, is it a hamburger and maybe a couple of drinks? Um, and burrito, hey, hey, buddy, I'm doing a movie here and you're killing me. He's over there tackling. Uh, <laughs> anyway, sorry, guys. Um, so cheat meal once a week. Um, you know, go out, you know, have fun with it, make it dirty. If you want to grab a hamburger and some fries and then a couple of drinks or something like that, I'm not opposed to that. Uh, once a week, you gotta let uh, you gotta let everything down and you gotta enjoy. And the truth of the matter is, as long as you're following your diet uh, throughout the week, it's really gonna it, it's probably even gonna make a, a positive impact on your overall metabolism, right? The body starts to hold on to body fat when it thinks that you're starving it. That's when it starts to panic. That's when your cortisol goes up and that's when your cortisol spikes, the stress hormone spikes and your body just goes into, oh my God, and it starts holding on to body fat. So uh, once a week, letting yourself uh, enjoy a little bit of good food kind of tells your body that, hey, it's okay. Um, I'm going to keep feeding you. You're okay to continue losing weight. So that's why we do cheat meals. Please do your cheat meal. Um, I think it's got more benefit than negative. Not only mentally, you need a break, right? You guys are working hard, you're killing these, these workouts, but you need to rest your brain and you need to have a hamburger or whatever else and you know, and a couple of drinks. And uh, I wanna to touch on alcohol consumption with you guys a little bit. Now, alcohol consumption, alcohol. Um, where, where do I begin? I'm Irish, uh, but the truth of the matter is, is that I, I do drink sometimes. Um, I'm very I, I'm very selective about when I drink. Um, that comes from various things from my youth. I grew up in an alcoholic family, um, so I kind of watch myself in that regard because I'm under the belief that it's hereditary. hereditary. So, but every once in a while, I do have drinks. However, I want to be honest with you guys. When you guys are uh, first of all, alcohol is extremely extremely high in calories. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. There are some light beers out there that are pretty good, McLub. Um, but your body tends to take alcohol and process it before all other food, right? So any, any alcohol that you drink is going to get processed before your, you know, before the good stuff that you're feeding your body, which is ultimately going to lead to, sorry, I'm getting messages and doing this, which is ultimately going to lead to more storage of food. I mean, I know, um, I know a lot of people, you know, like to come home after, you know, after work and have two or three beers. But in the grand scheme of things, if you're drinking two or three beers a day, or even if you're drinking a beer a day, that's anywhere from 300 to 500 extra calories a day. And it's the difference in between you succeeding and you not succeeding, right? So I do kind of advise that you, hey. <laughs> oh, these dogs. Uh, Burrito was riding or literally jumped on top of the other one and they both fell off the... Uh, fell off the bed and slammed head first to the floor. He'll uh, be okay. Anyway, dog life. Um, yeah, alcohol guys, you know, um, it's okay to have a couple of drinks in your cheat meal. Uh, but I really recommend that, that you try to limit it to that because uh, alcohol and gains and losing weight and leaning out and building muscle are counterintuitive. It also disturbs your sleep. And, um, and I'm not saying don't drink. I'm just saying, if you're going to, I highly recommend that you save it for your cheat day, you have a few drinks, and then we call it good. It's only six weeks, guys. And the truth of the matter is, this isn't me just like tuning my own horn. Um, I've seen guys do some amazing, amazing things in six weeks. Um, you know, losing anywhere from 10 to 25 pounds, uh, completely reshaping their physique without losing any weight, putting on some good muscle, leaning out. Your body is capable of doing some incredible things in six weeks. So if you can really stick to this for six weeks, you can really stick to it. I promise I'm going to do everything in burrito. Hey, I promise I'm going to do everything in my power to uh, to help you guys out. And as long as you're communicating with me, and as long as I know that you're being honest with me, there's nothing that we can't fix. If you fall off, we can get you back on the horse. You just got to communicate. You just got to work with me, and you got to communicate with me so I know what's going on, and uh, particularly in check-ins. Check-ins are going to be coming up on Sunday. That's when we typically do the check-ins. If you want to do it on Saturday, that's fine. I just recommend that you do your check-ins always at the same time of the day, um, preferably in the morning as soon as you wake up. 
Uh, it's going to be similar. You're going to input your measurements into the same sheet that you guys have already inputted your measurements into. And just uh, as a reminder, check-ins are for guys who are doing the Savage in 6 full. If you're not doing the Savage in 6 full, um, check-ins aren't necessary. I highly recommend that you track your progress and you continue to do your pictures inside of the app. You put all your measurements in there, you put your weight in there, and you put your own pictures in there. I think it's really, really important to give yourself a good gauge of where you started and where you ended. And um, even though it doesn't come with check-ins, if you're a Savage and Six light person and you're having issues or you want a little bit of advice, reach out to me. I don't want to. I'm not going to leave you high and dry and say, "Hey, too bad, so sad." Uh, but for the guys who are doing the check-ins, make sure you do them at the same time of the day. Typically, first thing, wake up, use the bathroom, go take your measurements, go take your pictures, upload your pictures into the app under the progress tab. Um, fill out the measurement sheet and then I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different thing here with you guys I'm going to be trying out and I'm going to be sending you a survey um, every week as opposed to just typing it into an email which is going to talk about how your week went, how your progress went. You'll send that off to me, um, you'll upload your pictures and then you'll just send me a message saying hey Matt I checked in, that way I know you're checked in and Sandy and I will spend the next couple of days organizing everything, uh, getting some feedback to you, making suggested meal changes, just just, um, just be honest with me, guys. I'm telling you, there's nothing we can't fix. If you're having difficulties, there's nothing we can't get around. And I'm here to help you. Um, I ultimately want to help you, and I want to see you guys do really, really well. So that's a, that's kind of a lot. Um, last thing I wanted to mention for today is if you're having trouble, if I'm not a cook. I'm a terrible cook. I clean, kind of. But uh, <laughs> Senya's laughing at me because she knows I'm not lying. Um, I do my best to keep the place clean. We work a lot, and uh, sometimes it is clean, and often it's not. But um, anyway, if you're having a problem with your diet, I sent out that email today as well. It has four sauces in there, and um, those aren't affiliate links or anything like that. We don't get any money if you purchase. We did have an affiliate account with Amazon, and that's probably something we'll do again. But those are just um, four things that I recommend. You don't have to buy them from there. Uh, the sugar-free ketchup, there's also a really good one by Heinz, which you can find in a lot of places. Do realize that these things do have calories in them. Use them sparingly. But if your food sucks, um, I'm a big ketchup guy. I need my sugar-free ketchup with my egg whites. I use that. Um, Heinz is available. You can grab that stuff off of eBay. Seal, Sama, teriyaki sauce, guys. That's almost zero calorie. It's a teriyaki sauce. It's mind-blowing, and it will make the blandest food taste absolutely freaking insane. Um, guys, barbecue sauce as well is an excellent barbecue sauce. It's super tasty and it's really fantastic. Um, as well as the sugar-free uh, syrup. You can also find a lot of Walden Farm sugar-free syrup at most Walmarts and just about any health store. And um, those are really good as well. The one thing that I will say about these sauces is that they do have preservatives. Preservatives can increase the amount of inflammation in your body, which is counterintuitive. But a man has to eat. I'll allow you to make that decision on your own. Um, I'm not a huge proponent of artificial flavorings, but I want to be honest with you, I do use them. I don't want to lie to you guys in any which way, shape, or form. So, Anyway, I'm going to leave you with that for tonight. I'm going to get some water. I've got to get a couple of things answered for clients and stuff like that. But I just hope, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm here to make your life as easy as it possibly can. Of course, I have my own life which means that sometimes it might take me a little bit longer to get back to you, but I promise you, I absolutely will. That's all I have for you guys tonight. You have an excellent day. If there's anything that you guys want to see specific videos on, feel free to suggest, uh, feel free to comment inside the group. And then if you have questions or if you're having difficulties with something, guys, reach out because everything is solvable. If you're having issues with your meal plan, if you're having issues with timing, um, if, you need, if you have questions with supplements, we're going to talk more about supplements. Reach out to me. I'm here to help you out. And there's no such thing as stupid questions. Nobody's going to judge you in this group. I don't allow any rudeness. There never, there, there rarely is. Uh, I will say, I will say rarely. Um, it rarely is. But um, it's just, I just want to create a bunch of guys who are cool, sharing things. We don't have to hold hands and sing kumbaya. But um, if you have fitness tips, if you have things that you're doing, if you have things you find interesting, if it's fitness related, if it's life related, I want to know who you are. You know, um, we want to know what you guys do and we want to know what you're into. So just make the group your own. Don't hesitate to post in there. Um, and nobody's going to give you a hard time about it, I promise. That's all I have for you guys. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.